Hi everybody, today I have a Christmas home tour for you. Now this is our fifth Christmas in New Zealand and I have found the last few Christmases to be a little bit difficult. Um, it's kind of a time of homesickness and missing people and I found that the Christmas decorations that we had, I would pull them out and you know usually they trigger memories, they became a trigger for homesickness and so I wanted to just do away with them and get all new decorations and also I couldn't cope with like snow and snowmen and all that kind of stuff considering it's summer in New Zealand so I thought okay enough of all of that get rid of those and let's just start fresh I have kept a couple of things obviously for sentimental reasons um, you will also notice that we don't have a traditional Christmas tree we couldn't bring our Christmas tree with us when we immigrated from England and the first Christmas here I was like so stressed out and yeah whole long story but I, I actually just couldn't deal with a Christmas tree and when I asked the kids if they wanted a Christmas tree neither of them was bothered they really didn't care in fact Noah said to me well the coffee table's made out of trees so Santa can just leave the presents under that so we haven't had a Christmas tree since then I don't like clutter I don't like a lot of stuff everywhere and a Christmas tree to me like just gets in the way and since nobody else I mean Grant doesn't care he, do, he doesn't want one either so we haven't had a Christmas tree for the last four Christmases and we're fine with it so that will explain the lack of a Christmas tree I do have kind of a Christmas tree that you can see there but obviously you'll see that in more detail in the tour okay in replacing the decorations they, I kept two things in mind one I kind of really wanted to look at what I enjoy and I like gray and white and red I'm not crazy about the green so I, I kind of focused on bringing that in um, and also steering away from Santa and reindeer and all that and kind of focusing more on stars and angels and nativity because that's where I want the focus of Christmas to be and the second thing is I didn't want to just be like Christmas throughout on my house and just add loads of things to what we already had so I replaced things like for example that tree went up in place of the picture that's normally there which I just stashed in another room so that kind of helps to keep it from being cluttery and just you know makes it a bit festive without being like stuff everywhere so that's enough rambling let me show you around this is the only decorations that I've done outside and it's a rag wreath that I made. I just took a wire form and tied on lots of little red and green and white bits of fabric. Okay, going in, that's what the hallway looks like. We haven't actually renovated in here yet as you can tell by that situation. Um, so I didn't do much. Over here. I kept these stockings because it's the stockings that the boys have always had, so you know, sentimental reasons. So these are their old stockings and I've just hung it from the shelf. That gift is for a party I'm going to tonight. On the bench I've made a new cushion cover. This fabric may not look Christmassy at first glance except for the colours, with the red, but the design is Pohotokawa which is the New Zealand Christmas tree. I showed it in a vlog recently, I'll insert a picture here. They're trees that bloom just before Christmas in New Zealand, so I really like that. It was kind of a New Zealand touch, and of course the red and grey and white played into the colour scheme that I want. Um, and then I just have a little centre lurking over here by the keys. So moving into the living room, um, I guess I'll go around the perimeter. On the plant I've put a little red and white striped ribbon and I like to just hang little ornaments from knobs. I made that spotty cushion cover and I just put it over one of our existing cushions. This sign I got from the dollar store a couple of years ago. Nothing going on here except for this little ornament which I made last year. Um, on the coffee table I just put a little ribbon around there and I switched out a candle for this one which smells really good as well which is lucky made another cushion cover so this is what our mantle looks like yeah. 
I switched out the fern for a poinsettia and I hung the Christmas bunting that I made a couple years ago. To the side there is a little paper tree and sign that my friend Carly made for me. I switched out the candles for red ones and I've started an angel collection. So they had to go up there. These two I made, well my dad and I made. Can't remember where I got that. That was the warehouse this year. That was a gift from my friend Karen. That was bought with my friend Laura a few years ago in England at a gift store. And that was from Matalan years and years ago and she actually stays out year round. This is our Christmas tree. I went and gathered driftwood on the beach and I made it. And all of these ornaments are, I call them the special ones. The boys each get an ornament each year and it's kind of to signify a milestone in their life. So for example, when they started school, they got these. Daniel was obsessed with dinosaurs as a toddler. Um, this is from the Christmas we spent in South Africa. Daniel chose this little beaded guinea fowl at a market and, that, and he played with that. It was just a toy for him. So that was his ornament for the year. Uh, learning to ride the bike, losing their first tooth, those sort of things. So although we don't have a Christmas tree, I wanted somewhere to display their special ornaments, so I made this one. Just to the right here, I'll show you back up a little bit. On the bookcase, I have a nativity. other side some more festive ribbon on the pot plant another little nativity um, I got this at a thrift store and that's Noah isn't he cute and then I just used poster putty to stick this little sign that I made onto this crate okay so that's the living room one last overview from this angle and moving on to the dining room. Oh, sorry about the delicious morning sun streaming in. Um, I've taken to hanging a little garland thingy here and I switched it out for a Christmas one. I got these little wooden ornaments from the dollar store and I strung them on this baker's twine also from the dollar store. Excuse the woodwork that needs painting. Kind of grubby and gross. So that hangs there and then on the side here on this little cabinet I've got a runner that I made from half of a tea towel that little bowl was thrifted that was from a Christmas store years ago in the UK and this used to be painted navy and it had different color bunting and it was in the laundry room in our last house but I decided to Christmasify it and that's a handy place to hang our Christmas cards little stocking on the key that my mum knitted Another dollar store sign, excuse the paint that needs touching up. And then on that side, that little cabinet also got the other half of the tea towel as a runner. Another paper tree that my friend Carly made. And I added a little red ribbon to our memories jar. And there's the other, what do you call it? Card hanger, I guess. Okay, on the window I have a feather wreath that I made years ago. It was a wicker wreath form and then I just wrapped a white feather bow around it and I've hung that with a stripy red ribbon and the table got a runner in the same Potokawa fabric and I put the red liner back into the little crate so here's an overview from this side and then my little desk area I have a Christmassy desktop picture and a little stocking and this little bell garland and that's about all. I like to keep it simple. Um, these bells were little ornaments I got from the dollar store and I just strung them on the baker's twine to make a little garland. And then this sign where I usually write notes, it's just like a mini whiteboard, I stuck this joy little ornament thingy that I made a few years ago. So that's my desk area. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Just a few little touches in here. My favorite is decorating this shelf. So that is what our Christmas shelf looks like. I got this from Woolworths in the UK when it was closing down. Um, candy canes were from Pack and Save, no, the warehouse. 
the little thrifted jug was given to me by a friend. This I bought at that same gift shop that I went to with a friend in England. Um, the stand is from Ikea years ago and this little printable I found online. And then on the windowsill I have some red and white roses from the garden and a little family of gingerbread men. You may see a bit of a gingerbread men theme coming through. I have this tiny little nativity which is one of my favourites and has been smashed by the kids. Five of them lost their heads but managed to glue them back on. My favourite little house frame has a picture of, oh it's a bit reflective, the nativity in it and a little candle there. And then in here I've taken these little rusty gingerbread men shapes I had. I can't even remember where I got them. It was years and years ago. I've had them forever. And I hot glued them onto some baker's twine to make a little garland. Which hangs in there. And then I just added some green and red ribbon to my canisters. Got a red towel and a green and red oven mitt. And then on the fridge, I switched out the pictures for this one of Joseph holding baby Jesus. This one of baby Jesus. And this printable. And then another one of my little clothespin nativity ornaments that I made. And then the only other place I've decorated is the bathroom. I'm going to show you with the light on because it's a pretty gloomy room. We have some overgrown trees and bushes to have removed outside or trimmed down. So it's kind of gloomy until we do that. Anyway, on the door handle I have a little ornament. And then inside I've switched out the turquoise towels for red ones. And I made this little wooden sign. The font is called Laser Metal, if anyone's interested. Red, and I've got a little Santa sitting over there. And some red and white roses from the garden. Green hand soap. I put little ribbons and bells onto these canisters. And I have this little metal Santa ornament. I know I said I was kind of doing away with Santas, but no one particularly enjoyed this. So, yeah. Back up a little bit, another view. Just a little bit festive in the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed that little peek into our festive home, and I hope that you're having a good run up to Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.